Good morning, Yale. I hope all of you are doing well. I want to let you know that Ms. Torres misses each and every one of you. And today we're going to get started with lesson 15. So it's time for some actions. Everybody, let's stand up. Get ready. What are we doing? Get ready. Yes, standing up. What were we doing? Get ready. Yes, sitting down. Everybody, we will sit down. What will we do? Get ready. Yes, sit down. What are we doing? Get ready. Yes, standing up. What will we do? Get ready. Yes, sit down. Say the whole thing about what we will do. Get ready. Yes, we will sit down. Let's do it. Get ready. Everybody, now what are we doing? Get ready. Yes, sitting down. What were we doing before we sat down? Get ready. Yes, standing up. Say the whole thing about what we were doing. Get ready. Yes, we were standing up. Good job, kissy brains. I'm going to make statements about a box. Say yes if I make a statement that is right. Say no if I make a statement that is not right. What are you going to say if I make a statement that is right? Get ready. Right, yes. What are you going to say if I make a statement that is not right? Get ready. Right, no. Listen, a box can hold things. Is that right? Get ready. Right, yes. Listen, a box has wheels. Is that right? Get ready. Right, no. Listen, a box grows in the ground. Is that right? Get ready. Right, no. Listen, a box has sides and a button and a bottom, I'm sorry. A box has sides and a bottom. Is that right? Get ready. Right, yes. Listen, a box has wings. Is that right? Get ready. Right, no. Listen again. This time say true if I make a statement that is right. Say False if I make a statement that is not right. What are you going to say if I make a statement that is right? Get ready. Yes, true. What are you going to say if I make a statement that is not right? Get ready. Yes, false. Listen, a box can hold things. Is that true or false? Put your thinking caps on. Get ready. Yes, true. Listen, a box has wheels. Is that true or false? Get ready. Yes, false. Listen. A box is a container. 
Is that true or false? Get ready. Yes, true. Listen, a box is a living thing. Is that true or false? Get ready. Right, false. Listen, a box has, has sides and a bottom. Is that true or false? Get ready. Yes, true, very good. Let me give you guys some student points because you guys are answering super well. You are answering on signal and you are answering the correct answer. So I'm gonna give you some student points. So you earned three student points, good job. So you learn calendar facts. Everybody, how many days are in a week? Get ready. Yes, seven. Say the fact. Get ready. Yes, there are seven days in a week. How many months are in a year? Get ready. Yes, 12. Say the fact about the months in a year. Get ready. Right, there are 12 months in a year. How many seasons are in a year? Get ready. Yes, four. Say the fact about the seasons in a year. Get ready. Right, there are four seasons in a year. Here's a new fact about the number of days in a year. Listen, there are 365 days in a year. How many days are in a year? Get ready. Yes, 365. Say the fact. Get ready. Yes, there are 365 days in a year. Again, say the fact. Get ready. Yes, there are 365 days in a year. Good job. Let's do the facts again. How many months are in a year? Get ready. Yes, 12. Say the fact. Get ready. Yes, there are 12 months in a year. How many seasons are in a year? Get ready. Yes, four. Say the fact. Get ready. Yes, there are four seasons in a year. How many days are in a year? Get ready. Yes, 365. Say the fact. Get ready. Yes, there are 365 days in a year. Good job, Yale. You guys are doing super good. Let me give you some more student points. Wow, you guys are beating Ms. Torres. You have five student points. 
Very good. So first you'll tell me about the days of the week, then you'll tell me about the dates. Tell me the day of the week it was yesterday. So if today is Monday, tell me the day of the week it was yesterday. Get ready. Yes, Sunday. Tell me the day of the week it is today. So if yesterday was Sunday, tell me the day of the week it is today. Get ready. Yes, Monday. Very good. Now dates. Everybody tell me yesterday's date. Get ready. Yes, very good. Yesterday's date was Sunday, April 12, 2020. Yes. Now tell me today's date. Get ready. Right, today is Monday, April 13th, 2020. Very good. We're going to talk about how things are the same and how they are different. Listen, a fish and a boat. See if you can name two ways they are the same. Very good, so you're saying that a fish and a boat are the same because they both go in water. So you told me how a fish and a boat are. Get ready. Yes, the same. Listen, a fish and a boat. See if you can name two ways they are different. Put your thinking caps on. Tell me two ways are different. Very good. So you're telling me that a fish and a boat are different because a fish is an animal and a boat is a vehicle. And a fish has eyes and a boat does not have eyes. So you told me how a fish and a boat are. Get ready. Yes, different. Here's another one. Listen, a motorcycle and a bicycle. See if you can name two ways they are the same. Very good. So you're telling me that a motorcycle and a bicycle are the same because they have two wheels and you could ride them. So you told me how a motorcycle and a bicycle are. Get ready. Yes, the same. Good job. Listen, a motorcycle and a bicycle. See if you can name two ways they are different. So you're telling me that a motorcycle and a bicycle are different because you could put gas in a motorcycle, but you cannot put gas in a bicycle. So you told me how a motorcycle and a bicycle are. Get ready. Yes, different. Very good. Let's do a superstar. Superstar. Good job. Let me give you some student points. So you have 
seven student points. I'll tell you four things that happened. Listen, first, Jean put on her coat. Next, she made sure she had her car keys. Next, she went into the garage. Last, she unlocked the car. Listen again. First, Jean put on her coat. Next, she made sure she had her car keys. Next, she went into the garage. Last, she unlocked the car. Tell me the four things. What happened first? Get ready. Yes, Jean put on her coat. What happened next? Get ready. Yes, she made sure she had her car keys. What happened next? Get ready. Yes, she went into the garage. What happened last? Get ready. Yes, she unlocked her car. I'll say the four things, but I'm going to make mistakes. As soon as you hear a mistake, say stop. Then tell me the right thing that happened. Listen, first, Jean made sure she had her car keys. What, are y'all saying stop? I think I heard stop, can you say it a little bit louder? Okay, Ms. Torres heard you, you said stop. What happened first? Get ready. Yes, Jean put on her coat. Listen again. First, Jean put on her coat. Next, she made sure she had her car keys. Next, she unlocked the car. Did I hear stop? Okay, stop. So what happened after Jean made sure she had her car keys? Get ready. Yes, she went into the garage. Everybody say all four things in the right order. What happened first? Get ready. Yes, Jean put on her coat. What happened next? Get ready. Yes, she made sure she had her car keys. What happened next? Get ready. Yes, she went into the garage. What happened last? Get ready. Yes, she unlocked her car. Very good, y'all. You did super good at memorizing. Everybody, I'm going to tell you the story about the bragging rats again. You're going to fix up a picture that shows part of the story. So remember the things that happened. A bunch of rats lived near a pond that was on a farm. The rats got along well, except for two of them. The other rats called these two the bragging rats because they were always bragging, quarreling, and arguing about something. One day, they'd argue about who could eat the most. Another day, they'd squabble and quarrel over who was the best looking. Neither of them was very good looking. One had a, one was a big gray rat with the longest tail you had ever seen on a rat. The other one wasn't big, but he had the biggest yellow teeth you had ever saw. The other rats in the bunch didn't pay much attention to the bragging and quarreling until the two rats started bragging about who was the fastest rat in the whole bunch. This quarrel went on for four, four days and the other rats got pretty sick of listening to the rats shout and yell and brag about how fast they were. On the third day of their quarrel, they almost got into a fight. The rat with the yellow teeth was saying, I'm so fast. 
that I could run circles around you while you run as fast as you could. The big rat said, oh yeah? Well, I could run circles around your circles. That's how fast I am. The two rats continued yelling at each other until a wise old rat said, stop, we're tired of listening to all this shouting and yelling and bragging. There is a way to find out who's the fastest rat on this farm. The wise old rat continued, we will have a race for any rat that wants to race. Everybody will line up, run down the path to the pond, then run back. The first rat to get back is the winner. And then we'll have no more arguing about which, cat, which rat can run the fastest. The rats agreed, and early the next morning they were lined up, ready for the big race. Six rats entered the race. The bragging rats were lined up right next to each other, making mean faces and mumbling about how fast they were going to run. The rats put their noses close to the ground. Everybody, ready to take off like a flash. Everybody, ready, go. The rats took off toward the pond. The big gray rat got ahead of the others, while the yellow tooth rat right behind him. But just before they got to the pond, the yellow tooted rat stepped on the long tail of the gray rat. And both rats tumbled over and over in a cloud of dust. They tumbled down the dusty path and right into the pond. The other rats finished the race. The winner was a little black rat. It was hard for her to finish the race because she was laughing so hard over the bragging rats who were still splashing and sputtering around in the pond. After the race, all the other rats went back to the pond. The bragging rats were still splashing and sputtering. The wise old rat said to them, so now we know who is the fastest runner on the, who, now we know who the fastest runner on this farm is. It's neither one of you. So we will have no more arguments from either of you about who could run the fastest. The bragging rats looked at each other. Then the rat with the yellow teeth suddenly smiled and said, I may not be the fastest runner in this bunch, but there is no rat in the world that could swim as fast as I can. Oh yeah, said the gray rat. I could swim so fast that I could go all the way across this pond without even getting my fur wet. The wise old rat and the other rats just walked away from the pond, slowly shaking their heads. Everybody, open your workbook to lesson 15 or your worksheet and write your name at the top of the page. This is a picture of the bragging rats. What are the rats doing in this picture? They're arguing, okay. And the other rats are laughing, okay. Touch the rat with the big teeth. He's the one stepping on the tail of the other bragging rat. Everybody, what color are those big teeth? Get ready. Yes, yellow. Touch the rat with the long tail. Everybody, what color is that rat? Get ready. Yes, gray. Touch the little rat running behind the bragging rats. That's the rat that ended up winning the race. Everybody, what color is that rat? Get ready. Yes, black. Who remembers what happened just after this picture. Yes, the bragging rats tumbled into the pond. Later you'll color the picture. Remember the color of the rat with the long tail and the rat that ended up winning the race. So that's the end of lesson 15 for Yale. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and we are done. Good job, Yale.